to talk to you a little bit about the covering of the shelf with a um, shelf primer. Uh, I use the original Hotline shelf primer. It's mixed one part powder, five part water. I mix it in just a, a plastic container like this. It seals. I usually mark the date on it. Um, not really required. Hate brushes. Um, I get this at my pottery supply place because I do pottery too as well. So I got these ones here. This, these three brushes here are probably 20 bucks. I use the scraper with the flat blade, good sharp blade. And I come in and I scrape it and clean it this way and get it all cleaned off and then I use a small brush to take off any uh, um, powder or whatever that remains on it. I use, uh, definitely use one of these because this stuff here, if you breathe it, will mess you up. So I always use the, uh, uh, a good mask I use that for my painting, my stains, my uh, sealers. I always wear, as I say, the um, safety glasses. And then the other part of, of this is I have a Kubota vacuum with a HEPA filter, a good filter that's in on the inside. It doesn't blow it back out. So I use that and vacuum it up off the table. I have a carpeted table, which you'll see later. And I clean that all up really, really nice. And I vacuum up all that dust because you don't want to be breathing this dust. Um, not good for you. Uh, so I use this. So anyways, when I, uh, after I'm finished uh, covering my, A shelf I give it a light brush once it's finished I set it up under here you see how that goes up in there so I have two shelves so I'll fire one on here and while that one's firing this one's gonna dry and it does a really really nice job then once it's dry I bring it up here and I just give it just a, a light brushing with the brush uh, directions say you should heat it up to 500 degrees or I forget exactly how much they say to heat it up to but I don't bother and uh, so uh, 595 or something I can't see it anyways I just give it a light brush set all my glass right on it fire it away perfect I generally fire depending on what I fire once or twice. I do use shelf paper. I do have shelf paper. If I really want a nice smooth edge on the back, like that see-through um, uh, bowl, I'll put a piece up underneath that so that it comes out nice and clear. Um, carbon nitrate spray is what I use on all my molds. I'll show you, uh, I'm going to do a video on the molds and show you how I build them and how I put them together and how I use them. So thank you for watching this one here. Um, I don't think I need to go sh through and show you exactly how to scrape it. I will further, further down the road. So thank you for watching.